Oh man, that was that was a great set, man. I want I wanted the reset. Yeah, I, I did too. But at the same time, man, Zen, so good. Zen, just Zen's so really good. Just Zen, so good. Zen is really good. But Poilu, man, it like the you it's, gotta love the new Cario, dude. It's not. It it's. But at the same time, it's kind of discouraging when you look at just how good they are, and then you look at our own scene. I, I don't think we're bad, but like you look at us, we're like, and that's like that's a level above what yeah, yeah, all of us are doing. France, France, France is the best or the best in Europe, man. And then in PM now specifically. NPM, yeah, okay. NPM. Yeah, they're the best, man. Uh, like, like, of course, Prof Great, Br really Great Britain has Fuzzy and Prof. Yeah, well, like Fuzzy does well occasionally, but like. Um, we also have Omsa and stuff. They don't show up to PM only tournaments. That's I, true. I don't think Fuzzy goes to PM only stuff. Oh, I mean, melee is a different question again, right? But I mean, like, you know, let's not talk about melee, dude. Yeah, I'm just interviews. You want to do some interviews? Um, I think someone else should do those. No, Maybe I not... think you, I think you should do those. Really? Yeah, man. Okay. You're a commentator, dude. Hey, I don't. Okay, sure. Okay, I'm gonna ask them. Okay, sounds good. Uh, I don't actually. Um, okay, cool. Okay, so we're gonna do some interviews with um, hopefully all of the top threes. Um, oh yeah, awesome! We're gonna get Poilu people. So um, yeah, dude. If Chad has any specific questions, just fucking. Um, oh, thanks, Stein. Thanks, means a lot. So, chat, if you have any questions for the top three, um, just fucking post and we'll ask away for you. Um, um, so, we'll see. We're, we're curr they're currently... Uh, all right. Um, also, thank you very much to all you guys for tuning in. Fucking great. Um, it's so cool to have so many people excited for PM. Yeah, dude, feel free, man. So, this is um, Poilu with the amazing headset. Um, so you just have to just say stuff. Hello guys, can you hear cool. me well? Awesome. Whew. Nice dude. Dude, congratulations man. Thank that was, you. I think all of us wanted you to get that fucking reset man. Yeah, me too, but Zen just played incredibly. I, I kept uh, telling him because um, the last time we did together was Neo Camp 3 and the exact same thing happened on okay. Battlefield 2, but I managed to clutch it out and the second set was way easier because Zen was kind of feeling a bit Sad that he had uh, got resulted, and okay. this time, this time he manages to keep calm mm -hmm. and beat me with some incredible moves. I've never seen him play so well. Okay. I was I was really amazed by his performance. We at some point like he was doing some really crazy shield drop aerial shit to like to <laughs> call out a bunch of your approaches. It was pretty nuts. Yeah, he he countered me so well. But in terms of like, I mean, you have regionals at your own scene, right? Like or regulars, I want to say. How do you, the two of you fare? normally in terms of standing so um, the latest tournament we did was the Neocan 1, 2 and 3 it's hap it happens every f uh, two months so if someone wants to come it will be at the end of November okay and the first one I was third okay but oh I shit the, uh, who was second Zef Klopp got a second he beat okay. me he, r he played amazingly at, at he's actually game. in chat Oh, hey, Zef. So, and how are you? The two other ones were grand final between Zen and me. The first one, I was in winner side, and the second one, he was... Um, the first, yeah, the second one, I was uh, loser side. Okay, cool. And... <laughs> <laughs> so, if you, you, if you were to look back, I, I, for us, of course, we don't... Aside from Dom, who I'm sure you've met, we don't really have Lucarios, and we definitely don't have a Lucario who plays at your level, and we don't have any Charizards either. What does the matchup really boil down to? So, um, on the Lucario Discord, which is a really active place, so if someone wants to play Lucario and wants to come, he's welcomed. We did uh, what we call a joint matchup. That means a group where, for one week, all the Charizard and Lucario players that are on Discord discuss the matchup. Yep. And what we concluded was that if Lucario has a matchup, it wouldn't be by much. It would be like 55, 45. Yep. And it would be really stage dependent. On a tiny stage, Lucario has the advantage. But on big really? stages, yeah. Okay, uh, but don't you die, like against Charizard, don't you die to a lot of his moves a lot earlier? Yeah, but so, he, so does he. So does he, and he has such an amazing recovery. Look at that on Northrop. I was true. so yeah. unable to kill him. His fucking fire, like his um, <laughs> heat wave shit, dude. What the fuck? Exactly. Okay. So... 
but it's even. You wouldn't say that it's necessarily in either character's advantage. If, if there is an advantage, it would be a bit for Lucario, okay. in my opinion. Because Charizard is also heavy, so it's kind of combo fodder. Yeah, but Lucario too, so in the end, that balances out. Okay. Do you play any other characters? Could you have played anything else against his Charizard? No. Uh, I only play Lucario. I actually started playing PM because I just love how Lucario plays. And I can play some other characters, but I'm really bad with them, and I would never use them in tournaments. Okay. Okay, cool. Zen, uh, Zen has a really good Marth, though. Oh, he because does? He, play, he plays Marth on melee. Uh, but of course. Since he feels different, he doesn't play him in tournaments. Yeah. But he, he can do really amazing things with Marth. <laughs> and how surprising was Rickle's performance? Because he sent Whoa. you into, into losers in the first place. Yeah, so Rickle... Uh, you have to know that Rickle isn't even our peer, in our peer list. Oh, so what? he really did amazing. Well, he's not for uh, one main reason is that he was living in Japan for six months. Yep. And uh, during that time, well, he did no tourney in 2016, yep. so he couldn't be actually in the peer list. But uh, last time he did a tournament in France, um, he lost to Steakhouse and me. Uh, which are uh, PR three and five. Yep. So see, it's the first time, it's the very first time he he wins against me, and he combo games just flow. You you, you know, it yep. doesn't. He he managed me to combo me to death every time, and that was my main problem here. And that's because he really improved, in my opinion. And if he, I mean, expect him in the in the next PR list. I think he he will rank. He's gonna rank high. a lot higher. Yeah. Okay. And just just while we're on matchups, because I mean we don't know any of this, how does Wario fare against um, Lucario? Actually, Rickel and I don't have that many experience because we haven't played much. He decided to re get into PM just before going to Japan, yes, which was in March. In March, yep. And uh, we haven't played a ton, um, so I wouldn't be able to answer you. Wario has one crazy edge guard game against yes, uh, Lucario. For sure. He just dropped snare or jumped snare. And we saw, we saw him fuck you up with that a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm currently trying to find a way to counter it, but it works so well and it's not really hard to do for, for Wario. So Wario has that against Lucario, but he's kind of combo food too for Lucario. Yep. But he's heavy and has not such a big hurtbox. Yep. But I, it's perhaps on Wario's side, but not by much, again. Okay. And also, interestingly, when you played him, you opted to very often not edgeguard him. You would just let him get back to the ledge almost yep. for free. Uh, matchup experience. I, okay. I, would, I would try more um, rewarding, but risky things if I had more knowledge against okay. Wario. Cool, because like in, generally speaking, I mean, we have Ace. Yeah, I, we I didn't edgeguard him at all, because yeah. I really don't know how he plays, and uh, Rickard is one of my only, uh, war only Wario I've ever played. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, when we see him play, like, we see him get edge guarded a lot. Like, people just adapt to the fact that it's a relatively linear recovery, and then a whole bunch of characters can just abuse it. And so I'm sure that you two can find something really cool. Uh, yeah, uh, I think there, there might be something, but it would be risky if Lucario yeah. to do it, because every hitbox of Lucario sends upward, so oh. for, for a vertical recovery, it's just a must. Does back air send people... Um, could you attempt to stage spike him with a back air? No, the, the back air is really DI dependent, so most of the time uh, he, will okay. he will just fly up I and he will, it won't bother him. The main problem actually is, isn't his vertical recovery, is, is his uh, mo um, air mobility. Yeah, uh, one second, we need to turn off... I need one second, I need a gimmer of some sort, because we need to turn off music. Um, sorry chat, we're on it. I'm, we're looking at the chat, god. It's just me at the moment. Okay. Um, if you... Yeah, we, we are looking at the chat, and I saw what you said, Afkin. Thank you. <laughs> um, is that... Is that... Okay, we're just gonna hope. Yeah, dude, is this better? Okay, awesome. Sweet, guys. Um, one thing that, like, a lot... Like, as we were watching you, this is something that... Like, we were very often mentioning, is that... If you compare the level of... Especially you and Zen, but also to maybe a slightly lesser extent, Rickle. Yep. It seemed like you were just miles above even the best players here at the farm. I mean, t partially because of matchup, I think um, the the DDD... Um, Stregon? Yeah, the DDD-Lucario matchup just looked oh, really, yeah. really bad for DDD. Yeah, yeah. But in general, um, it seems like the, the two of you, and we're just going to include Rickle, then the three of you, mm -hmm. were just are just so much better. But in spite of that, like, how would you... 
rank the general, mm, let's say, abilities of the Dutch thing that you've seen here in comparison to France? Um, let me let me uh, think for a bit. Well, Sregard, Sregard for, for uh, I will talk about uh, many about Ace and Sregard because th that's the players I've, uh, I've played the most. Yep. Well, not much for Ace, but I I'm actually watch uh, this uh, weekly a lot. Oh, really? So yeah, oh, I, awesome. I've seen, I've seen uh, Sregard and Ace play a lot, and Sregard can really be impressive. Like, yep. have you seen the crew? We yep. got so wrecked. You got destroyed. <laughs> we got destroyed by Sregard. Uh, <laughs> but no, why was, though? Was just, what was, what was what was different about the crew battle? So, oh, sorry. Uh, like, just because someone's asking when no, we'll be well, back in Colorado. I, 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 as soon as I can, I, I will. Well, I will go to uh, the US uh, next month, actually. Uh, for, oh shit! Yeah, for um, uh, the Olympus. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, everyone. Uh, sorry for the advertisement, but there is currently a compendium for them to um, to attend Olympus. So if someone wants to uh, donate or buy something on the on the website of Olympus, that would be much appreci appreciated. Uh, you just have to. Uh, I think if you write uh, Project M or Olympus, Olympus, uh, you will find it. Uh, sorry. There you have it. Fucking make it happen, Chad. <laughs> Fucking get them there. Oh, uh, 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 hat. If you could, if you could, um, copy paste the link, please, please. Copy paste. Uh, so yeah, about about the Dutch against um, uh, against France, uh, I think that in France we we have uh, an amazing uh, top four players. Yeah, uh, that would be you, Zef Club Zen, and now Rickle. Or no, that that be <laughs> Rickle. <laughs> Rickle isn't in there because he went the PR. Yeah, okay. That 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 would be um, Zen, Leon, Charby, and I. In oh, that, Charby, that of course. In that order. Okay. Uh, and that's I, I think that's our strong point uh, compared to other European countries, yep. where uh, most of the time they have one player, one player who is really good, mm -hmm. and could just wreck wrecks the other. Yes. Well, you have to. You have uh, Shrugard and that's true. And it, I think it's fair to say that they always win. They do. They yeah. always win. I think there's been one tournament in the history where they didn't. Sorry, but yeah. Mm. But would you say that the average level, when you compare like your non-top four people? Is that comparable or even higher than what you've seen here? I think I think that if uh, if we take away th those four players, that's really comparable. Okay. And cool. and Ace Ace and Shrigada are w closer to uh, do, uh, us four than uh, the rest of the PRs, in my opinion. Yeah, of but course. I would I would need to play more. Ace actually won against A three O, not because I played ma really really better than him, but yeah. because. Um, I, uh, he doesn't know the matchup. Yeah, I'm sure no he one doesn't. Uh, does. It was it was obvious that he 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 was a bit lost because he didn't know what he was supposed to do. He didn't know how to TI. Yeah. yeah. And uh, shout out to Mini Bule who who beat uh, Ace in impulse. He was it was this was really impressive. Oh yeah, everyone was shocked when that happened, dude. We were all stunned. <laughs> uh, what do I think about the future uh, future of PM? Uh, well. I will be honest. I, I wasn't really um, pleased when I I heard about uh, the launchable build because I think that we have so much more to learn in this game, and a, a, any character could be a top top character. Do you really uh, think so? Yeah. Okay. Like, I I think there is so much untapped power in Olimar, for example. Yes. Oh, for sure. And that that's just an example. And people are, are like, this character is broken. This is OP. And I think that. They try to rush things, and the launchable builds I think would have come. Uh, well, it it was cancelled, but it would have come um, a lot uh, too early. We would have have to wait way more to know if Snake is really OP, if um, Mr. Game and Watch is uh, broken or not. <laughs> Okay, uh, can we just finish the interview quickly and then... Uh, commentative what? Oh, money, okay, I'm, I'd be down. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, um, I said I said Snake and Game and Watch because that's those the two are currently characters that, the characters that are considered a bit uh, that people complain the most about. The thing though is, someone here on the scene once made the argument that the only people that complain about Game and Watch are the Americans because it seems like not a lot of people play him. Only like a few really good players do. Mm. Whereas here, I think most of us agree Game and Watch is good, but I think all of us also think that Game and Watch is very very beatable. Well, we don't have a Mr. L. <laughs> That's, that's true, we don't have someone as good as Mr. R, that's We don't fair, have a Mr. L, that's um, for sure. Who, who really impresses me every time I see him. Are we, are we quitting stream? Okay, okay guys, I think I'm being told we're shutting this shit down, people. So um, before we shut down, I, I want to really thank you, all the TOs, all the staff that worked on um, this amazing tourney. If anyone is just even contemplating on coming, don't think twice, just come, that was really amazing, the people were so nice, the venue was great. Just thank you, thank you for everything. And from our side, thank you very much for all you French guys coming over. It's, it was really cool that we got to kind of say goodbye to the pharmacy in such a, such a big way. And that, it was really nice. That was the honor, really. Yeah, thank you so much. And thank you. And we've been told you guys are organizing a tournament. Pretty soon, a big one. Yep, uh, and new new camp for if you want to come. That is the end of can, November. And by then, we, don't smash for too. We will have fucking figured out these matchups by then, and then we're gonna wreck your tournament. <laughs> Let's do a crew. Again. Yeah, it'll we'll be we'll fucking get cool. <laughs> so, um, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. We'll see you guys hopefully soon. We don't have a venue in the for the near future, so we'll keep everyone posted on Reddit and Facebook. Um, but until then, keep well, play PM, and we'll see you guys soon. See ya. Peace, guys.